سہولت و صف بیسیکلی ڈسکسز دی سینٹرل تھیم آف سورت الصف از وٹ واز دی پرپز آف دی ایڈونٹ آف محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم یو کین ناٹ ایسس اے پرسنالٹی ایز ٹو ویدر ہی واز اے سکسیزفل پرسن اور اے فیلیور انلیس یو نو وٹ واز دی پرپز دیٹ ہی ہیڈ بفور ہیم وٹ واز دی گول دیٹ ہی ہیڈ سیٹ بفور ہیم from with reference to that purpose and goal you say whether he succeeded or not the purpose of the advent of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam please note here muhammad himself was one of the messengers of allah no doubt so the basic purpose of his advent was the same as the basic purpose of the advent of all the messengers of allah There can be no doubt. What was that basic function? Rasulullah Mubashirin wa Munzirin li Allah yakun lil nasi ala Allah hujjatun baad al Rasul wa kaan Allah aziz al hakima. We have discussed it in the last lesson, Surah Al Hajj. But Muhammad was not only one of the messengers of Allah. He was the last and the final and the most complete messenger of Allah. On him the deen was completed. On him the light was completed. Al yawm akmal to lakum dina kum wa atmam to alaykum ni'mati wa radhi to lakum al Islam dina. He was not only one of the messengers. He was one of the messengers, no doubt. Ma kun to bid'a min al Rusul, but he was the final. He was the last. The institution of prophethood came to its zenith, came to its climax in him. What does it mean? The guidance became complete. The nur of Allah was completed. Wallahu mutim manurehi walau karihal kafiru. And this is one of the ayat of this surah to Saf. Then the deen of Allah was completed. Not only the light. Not only the basic guidance, but the system of life, a complete system of life in every respect, based on justice and fair play. That is the deen. Al yawma akmal to lakum deen akum wa atmam to alaykum neemati. This is the exclusive position of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. No other messenger of Allah, no other prophet of Allah stands with him shoulder to shoulder at this level. That is why the purpose of his advent has been given thrice in the Quran, in the same words and noted. It's a measure of the importance of some subject if it appears in the Quran repeatedly in the same word. هُوَ الَّذِي أَرْسَلَ رَسُولَهُ بِالْهُدَى وَدِينِ الْحَقِّ لَيُظْهِرَهُ عَلَى الدِّينِ كُلِّهِ It is he, that is Allah, who sent his messenger, that is Muhammad. صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم with two things the light الہدا بالہدا و دین الحق and the true and just social order so that we should make it supreme over the whole system of life so he was not sent only for preaching he was not sent only for the purification of the souls of the individuals he was sent to establish the deen of Allah To make it supreme, actually supreme, not written in the books only. Just like the Republic of Plato, the book is not a very great book. How long it has lived? It is, it is living even today. How many years old? Written three hundred years before Christ. The book is still living, but it's the book, the Republic, which was mentioned and discussed there, never was established in this world even for a second. So it's a utopia. It's a kind of a dream. You can see the best dream, but implemented 
اسٹیبلش اٹ شو ٹو اس ان اے پریکٹیکل فارم اینڈ دی اونلی پروفٹ امنگ دی پروفٹ آف اللہ دی اونلی میسنجر امنگ دی آل دی میسنجر آف اللہ ہو ڈیڈ اٹ بٹ محمد صلی اللہ علیہ سو دس از دا بیسک ڈفرینسیشن بٹوین دی پرپز آف ایڈونٹ آف آل دی ادر میسنجر آف اللہ اینڈ دی پرپز آف ایڈونٹ آف محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم 